Poverty is someone who doesn't have something they need that is important. So basically they don't have water, they don't have food or money or shelter or some stuff like that. How can we help stop poverty? Uh, you can donate stuff like food, water and clothes that you don't wear. Or you can even raise awareness, so tell people about poverty. I think Zero Hunger is trying to achieve food security worldwide. One person would die every 10 seconds. 795 million people are being affected right now and there'd be a growth of 2 billion people by 2050. And then $1.4 trillion would be saved. How can we achieve the SDG 3 by 2030? Um, there are many easy things that you can do like washing your hands regularly and exercising. And the other thing is like spreading the word, like tell your parents and your friends about it. How, um, yeah, and keep in date with your health care and make a game or a website so instead of just telling people you can make a game or a website. What if everybody had access to medicine and a healthy lifestyle? Well if everybody had access to these life, sa life changing things we wouldn't have to worry about um, having these foundations that are there to support people. We also need to think about getting the public health care system better in other countries and more funding will help this dramatically. We were inquiring into quality education, goal 4, and at the moment there are 57 million children who are missing out on schooling for unfair reasons. Most of the girls in developing countries such as Afghanistan or Somalia have no access to schooling and millions of children are suffering from child labour and so they can't go to school either. And what if quality education was achieved? <laughs> if quality education was solved? then most other goals will be solved too. What if all genders were equal? If all genders were equal, the world would be a better place because women can have the same opportunities as men. They won't be forced to, mar they won't be, forced to be married. They won't have to go places with their husband there and they can live a free life. What would you feel if we reached um, the gender goals by 2030? Well, I would feel proud because, well, it's a big achievement to make and especially in some countries that it's a, in their religion that women and girls don't do anything. Um, so that would be really amazing for that to happen. What's your aspect on the different ways that people have to get water? I think that people take it for granted that they can turn on the tap and clean, fresh water comes out. But compared to third world countries where they have to walk for kilometers just to get water that isn't even clean. Do you think this problem will end? I think that un endless countries decide to work together, nothing will change. and. That's really a shame. Why and how is SDG 7 related to other goals? SDG 7 is related to other goals because if everyone used clean energy, then it would stop the negative impact that carbon has on our atmosphere and climate, which would help complete the climate action goal and other goals that were made around the environment. What if fossil fuels didn't produce CO2? This may sound like a great thing in theory, but in reality, if we didn't do this, there wouldn't be a need for renewable energy and countries wouldn't need to use it. So we would constantly be running out of fossil fuels and other ways to produce electricity. What problem does your goal aim to solve? Uh, our goal aims to make sure that everyone, every adult has a decent paying job with safe working conditions. What if money didn't exist? 
Well, if money didn't exist, then most problems that this goal aims to solve would no longer exist. Meaning, um, things like corruption in businesses and child labour would be gone because they're both based off people's greed for money. What is goal number nine and why is it important? Goal nine is industry, innovation and infrastructure. It is important because globally we need resilient infrastructure. What can we do? We can welcome innovations to the world and stay smart and kind online. Because it will shape a better future and create a world of peace and happiness. What if we achieve the goals? We will live in a world where everyone is equal and there is no one more important than the other. What is your goal and what is it about? Our goal is Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities. It aims to make all cities and communities more sustainable and better places to live in. How can we make our cities more sustainable? Well, by turning off lights and using renewable energy like solar panels and wind turbines, we can make our cities and communities more sustainable for everyone. I, I like it because it's a really important important goal uh, and it affects the environment in a direct way. What if no one helped achieve goal 12? I think many, there'll be like many issues like because people don't think goal 12 is very important but it's very important when you like research about it and it needs to be achieved. Why is goal 13 so important? Well goal 13 is so important because it causes so many natural disasters destroying homes, structures, facilities and it also will cause the sea levels to rise which will decrease the amount of land that we have and we don't even have homes for everyone and that could drown some homes as well. As individuals, how can we take climate action? Well, it's really just a small thing. Like food is the most, one of the most common things going into the landfill. So if we just serve, our, serve ourselves a bit less or just eat all that's on our plate, that can help a lot ride and scoot walk to places can also help and try to use renewable energy and canvas bags when going to the supermarket what is life below water life below water is one of the sustainable development goals that focuses on the oceans and how we can fix them what would happen if, if this wasn't the goal if Life by water wasn't a goal, everything would stay to it and get worse as, as the years go on. Goal 15 is trying to protect our natural ecosystems and trying to restore the damage we've done by humane degradation and deforestation. Why is Goal 15 so important to the world? Because if our ecosystems aren't healthy, then it affects us and we can't be healthy. So if water runs out or we run out of trees, then it can affect us and we could possibly die. Why are you so passionate about what you're doing? Because people are getting hurt and uh, and they're living in these terrible situations and it's so sad and I want to do something about it but it feels like I can't so I'm helping by supporting Goal 16. And what if justice never existed? Justice, um, peace is completely built upon justice and without it um, the whole, whole of society would collapse.